With the incredible growth of e-commerce and the insane amount of online sales that you can make in this day and age, now is a great time to get into online arbitrage. Online arbitrage essentially means buying products at a discounted rate from an online retailer like Target or Walmart and then selling them elsewhere like on Amazon for profit. This is a very legitimate way to make money online. And we're gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how you can do this yourself in this tutorial. And if you'd like to learn exactly how you can do this yourself, we strongly encourage you to stay to the end of the video as we guarantee you will learn how to do this in detail, step-by-step step, by the end of this video. So let's begin. Okay, welcome to the Amazon Online Arbitrage Tutorial. The goal of this video isn't to sell you a course. We simply want to show you exactly how you can make money with Amazon Online Arbitrage. So first, we want to introduce you to BrickSeek.com. This is an online marketplace where you'll be able to browse through and find discounted products from online retailers such as Walmart, Amazon, Target, and more. So if we just scroll through this a bit, we can see all these different discounted products. Here, it shows the original price and then the discounted price in blue. So what you're going to be doing is you will purchase a product of your choosing and then resell it on Amazon. So we're going to show you exactly how you're going to do this yourself step by step in this tutorial. If you are based in the US, slickdeals.net is also another great website you can use. And then tacticulararbitrage.com is a great website if you're based in either the UK, Canada, France, Germany, Spain, Austria, or Italy. So you just click on sites and browse through the many different sites that you can use and it's completely free to do. So we encourage you to check this out if you are located in one of these countries. All right, so let's go back to brickseek.com and let's hover over deals where you will then see several options in front of you. You're going to want to click on trending deals then you'll see here the deal type, and we would suggest you click on any because there might be some good options in store near you, wherever you're located. And it doesn't hurt to just walk into your local store and pick up that item for you to then resell on Amazon's marketplace. So since we are reselling on Amazon's marketplace, we would select everything under retailers right here, except for amazon.com. If you're selling on another retailer like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, then you're going to also want to click on Amazon.com under Retailers. So let's go ahead and select all of the retailers for reselling on Amazon.com and start browsing for a few things. So when you're looking for items, we do recommend you look for high ticket items that you can sell. If you were to choose an item like this, you wouldn't be making very much money in profit when reselling this product. Also, you want to stay away from larger products like furniture when you're starting off doing this because it'll be difficult to resell these. You are also going to want to avoid food and candy because often you won't be able to resell these types of products. Okay, let's take a look at this product right here. So we can see the in-store deal right here, and it shows the discounted price right here. And then it shows the MSRP price right up here. So now let's head over to Amazon and see if we can find this exact listing on Amazon's Marketplace. So let's copy this title, go on Amazon's Marketplace, paste it right here, click search, and then just browse until we find the listing. So we want to make sure that we find the exact same one. So it looks like this is the right one. So let's go ahead and click on it. So if there are different color variations or any other type of variation, you want to make sure that it's the exact same one that you found on BrickSeek.com. So we want to look at other people that are selling the same product. So let's go ahead and click right here. So right now, 
This one has the buy box, which basically means if someone were to access this listing and click on add to cart, that seller will win the purchase. And that's exactly what we want. We want to win the purchase, especially if we're going to be reselling this product and competing with all of these other sellers right here. So let's click on here again and see what all these other sellers are pricing this product at. A lot of these are used, so we have an advantage here because we will be selling a new one. So this top one has the buy box, most likely because it's primed. And essentially what that means is that they have shipped this product to the fulfillment center where if someone does purchase this product, Amazon will take care of the shipping, packing, handling, and customer service themselves. However, this all depends on how many products you have with this particular product. So for example, if you only have one product, there's no point in shipping this to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. You just want to ship it directly to your buyer. So now, let's see what are the potential margins for this. So if we go back and look at the discounted price for this product, we'll then want to copy and paste that price on this pricing calculator on sell.amazon.com. Hover over pricing and click on cost calculator. So now, under product information, you will want to put your cost of goods sold per unit. So you're also going to want to include your state sales tax in the cost of the product. So you will want to look at the discounted price plus, let's say, 4% sales tax. So considering the price for the buy box and the other prices for this product, we will want to put a slightly lower price, so let's put this. And you will put this price in the listing price box. And then under product category, we will want to find this by going on to the product information on Amazon down at the bottom. So it shows right here, and we will just select the category back over here on sell.amazon.com. And then under fulfillment method, if you only have one product, we recommend that you click on fulfillment by seller, where you will be shipping the product directly to the buyer. If you had 10, 20, 30, or more of any given product, you would then click on fulfillment by Amazon. This option would save you a lot more money in the long run. And this process, again, would be for you to ship several of the same products out to Amazon, where they will then deal with all of the shipping and handling and customer service. But for this example, we'll just click on Fulfillment by Seller. And next, we have Shipping Cost for Sale. This basically means how much it will cost to ship out the product to the buyer. So let's say you are based in LA and you want to ship out this product to someone in New York. This will probably cost no more than $20. But to be sure, you want to reach FedEx, UPS, or your local post office and get a quote from them before you put a price down just so you can save as much money as possible. But for this tutorial, we'll just put $20 as an example. And now it shows the breakdown of the margin for sale. But this is the amount of profits you could make if we were to buy this product on BrickSeek.com and resell it on Amazon. This isn't an exact price, but gives you a general understanding of what your profits could be in this given scenario. Okay, so now let's go back to Amazon and see if this product is actually in demand and being sold. So you can either scroll down and refer to the best seller's rank which will give you an idea as to how popular this product is, or you can download a Chrome extension called Jungle Scout, which will show you exactly how many products are being sold on a regular basis. So another thing is that you want to make sure that you will be authorized to sell any given product. So for example, if you were to try and resell a product from Samsung or Apple, you unfortunately will be required to have authorization to resell these products, whereas other brands will simply just allow you to resell the products without authorization. And you can figure this out by looking at the Amazon Restricted Brands list, which shows you which brands will enable you to resell their products. So, this brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to make money with Amazon Online Arbitrage. 
Hopefully you learned something from this video and got a lot of value and then will be able to start your own journey. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you can be notified about more videos on how to make money online, which will also help us create more content for you to teach you how to make money online. If you'd like to learn another way to make money online, check out this video right here.